Hello, grade six. This week, we are going to continue the lesson Measuring Matter. Just a quick reminder about this week that on Thursday, 21st of September, we have our middle school open house. I am very excited to meeting your parents during the open house. As for this week's objectives, we are going to continue the lesson measuring matter. So last week we took the term mass and weight and we compared between them and we knew, we knew how to convert the units of the mass. So for this week, we are going to continue with the term volume. We're gonna know what does volume mean? And then we're going to know how to calculate volume. So uh, there are two shapes for the volume, either regular or, re or irregular. We're going to learn how to calculate the regular, the volume of a regular shape and the volume of an irregular shape. Moving on to the term density, we're going to know what is density and then we're going to know how to calculate density. Density's formula is density equal mass over volume. So it includes mass that we took last week and the volume that we are going to take this week. We're going to connect them together. We're going to understand how this makes the term density. Moving on to how temperature affects density. So temperature is going to affect density. This week we're going to understand how it affects density and then we're going to know why do we know density? How do we use density in real life? And at the end of the week we will assess our knowledge by solving the lesson check. To wrap up everything that we took in this uh, week we will do the lesson check to assess our knowledge. As for this week's activities, we will practice how to calculate volume of regular and irregular shapes. As I said before that, to, to calculate volume, there are two shapes, regular and irregular. So we're going to practice more on how to calculate them. And then we will practice how to calculate density. Also, I said there is a formula for density. We will be doing a worksheet on it and know how we can calculate and have extra practice on volume, calculating volume and calculating density. We will read articles to get the full picture about how temperature affects density. So this is a very a nice topic that uh, we are going to read about. It's very easy. We're going to read an article to get the full picture. And then we will watch a simulation that can help us understand more about density. So density is a mass over volume. So we, when we know what that means and what is density, there's a very nice simulation that will help us get a full picture of this idea of the of the term density. And then we will solve live worksheets about volume and density. Uh, so it's a worksheet that uh, when you answer it, you'll get, the, you'll get the answer key automatically, which is very fun. We will use online quizzes to assess our knowledge. And also by the end of the week, we're going to have the lesson check. Thank you so much, grade six. That is it for this week. If you need any help, if you need to ask any questions, I'm always here for you. And thank you again.